Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I am uploading at least once a week now. So, uh, before we start, I just want to let you guys know that I am growing up my eyebrows, so they're a little, they're a little all over the place right now. I'm going to get them threaded. Maybe by next week, they should be good to get threaded. But anyways, today's video I am reviewing the Hourglass Immaculate, Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. This one here. I think this is a new packaging. Yeah, this is the old packaging and this is my Holy Grail foundation. But I don't know if this is a new packaging or they reformulate it or what. So I want to try out the new one and see if it's still the same or better. So yeah. I've already moisturized my face. I did not prime yet. I'm gonna prime one side of my face and my application will be done with a brush. This is the Tarte Bamboo Airbrush brush or something like that. I'm gonna apply it with the brush, but I'm gonna blend it out with a sponge. That's just typically how I usually do my foundation. Um, as for the primer, I'm using the new L'Oreal Infallible Matte Block Long Wear Mattifying Primer. That one there. So. You want to know how this foundation wears then keep on watching okay so let's prime our face I feel like there's some dry spots I have some dry spots right here I don't know if it shows up all oh, right here it's a little dry and like I feel kind of scaly almost don't know what's going on there my face was really really dry throughout the entire winter up until maybe a month ago um, I started changing up my skincare routine and using oils now and it's it's getting more normal now but i still have every now and then like dry spot spot spots i think to be honest they're psoriasis i do have psoriasis all over my scalp and sometimes i get them on my face like every now and then but i think like two weeks ago i had like a patch of it right here and it went away but anyways this is the primer that i'm using i like the infallible foundation i just couldn't find the right shade for me and that's why i stopped wearing it and it comes out and looks like glue, like Elmer's glue. But I'm going to prime this side of my face. Oh, and it... It smells sour. I don't know. But I am going to prime this side of my face with it. I got a little peach fuzz going on too. Girl, we just going to be rocking out. This is usually my holy grail foundation for the summertime um, when I have um, special events to do. But lately, the Wet n Wild one has been my holy grail foundation. But I just, I'm trying to look for like a high-end foundation that I really like. The NARS one, I didn't like it. The Too Faced Peach one, I didn't really like it. I don't know. I don't even know what shade I got in this. I got golden. So in the winter time, winter, winter time, I'm not as yellow. Um, I know compared my face to my neck, comparing my face to my neck, I look more peach in the face and more yellow and olive down here. But when I put on a yellow and olivey foundation on my face, then it gets too yellow. And yeah, you see how my hands is really pink. Um, and the oh, this feels good. Yeah, in the summertime, I'm very this feels really good actually. I'm very golden and olivey. But in the wintertime, I'm more like pink, peachy almost. Let's test this out. I didn't even open it yet. You only get one. Is that normal? Did you get one fluid ounce? Or did you get two? That's what it looks like. Got the little foil on it. And I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. Uh, I think I'm supposed to shake it first because this came out really watery. It looks separated almost. Oops. Oh, yeah. Should have shook it first. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna do the prime side first. Okay, don't really worry about um blending it. I'm just gonna apply it with that. I think this color is perfect. Look how much it matches my neck. Okay, now I'm going in with this and I'm just gonna push it into the skin. It dries immediately, you guys. Yeah. Try to work in a small section, but I really like it. I still like it. It looks 
great okay now to do the other side i'm just gonna grab whatever's left i have tried the um hourglass mineral veil primer and it's nice but it doesn't do anything for me like it doesn't minimize my pores um it just smooths out or soften out my face my skin but it doesn't really do much as far as uh, oil controlling and pore minimizing you know what I mean so that's that I feel like I can see a little oxidation going on like this looks lighter than this side can you tell as far as application goes they both went on fine um, I think this side however stuck to my skin faster and and then like like almost immediately to the primer as far um, as opposed to this side I was able to work with it and spread it out a little bit faster or a little bit more like I had more time to play with it as far as coverage I still see a little darkness there but it covered my redness I think the shade is perfect though so on the non prime side it's kind of sinking into my pores um, the camera's not gonna pick it up but it's it's like really into my pores right now so that's on the non prime side but so far, I really like it. It looks natural. It looks like my skin. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Look how pink my hand is. All right, you guys, I am back with my face all done. Um, it's been a little over an hour now since I had this foundation on and it is looking good. Like it is looking flawless. Um, I do notice, however, the non-prime side, I think I mentioned this earlier, it is sinking into my pores a little bit more. I didn't set any of my face um, except for the under eye when I did my concealer, a little bit down the nose and then my forehead, but the rest of my face, no setting. Bronzer, blush, and highlight went on perfectly fine. Um, it is a really powdery finish to it, no stickiness, tackiness, or anything, and I am loving this i think this is the closest shade match that i've had in a while a lot of my foundation are too yellow for me for my winter shade um but yeah loving it for the eyes i just use the huda warm brown obsession palette the face is the shade light um contour palette the eyes everything else will be listed down below if you're interested but yeah i'm really loving this really loving this I hope it wears I'm also, I'm also not gonna set my uh, makeup with any setting sprays so we will see how that works out and yeah it's um still winter so I unfortunately I can't test it out in the Sun or in the heat um, but I will be working out within the hour so I'll try to break a sweat and see how that works out but gosh look at this foundation it's even like kind of blurring out my crater scars a little like you can't really notice it so this side i don't have i have a little teeny tiny crater scars or um pitted scars but this side is my problematic area and um it's you can barely see it it's looking good looking so good so i will go ahead and show you guys a picture with flash and no flash and natural lighting and then i will come back at the end of the night i'm not going to do a in between check-ins i think that's just a little too repetitive for the video and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and wear this for the whole entire day as long as I can maybe 10 12 hours and I'll be back at the end of the night okay you guys I am back and some results we have to talk about this foundation it is right now i have my son's ipad 12 44 a.m um so i started this foundation at one o'clock so almost 12 hours a little bit over 11 hours now um and it has broken apart i went to my sister's house we had game night we played a bunch of heads up we twerk Hulu? Yeah. Uh, duck dance. Chicken dance.
did a little drinking, a um, bunch of dancing, and played with the kids. And for the most part, the foundation looks good. Um, as far as it not looking, I don't, I don't know how to say this, heavy. Like some foundation at this hour for me, especially um, the NARS Natural Radiant one and the tooth toothpick, <laughs> Too Faced Peach Perfect one. Around a like seven to eight hour ish, it starts to break apart and it looks like heavy caked on makeup. This has broken apart, but looks more like I'm wearing a tinted moisturizer. Like it looks light, you know what I mean? So it only broke apart here. I was been I've been picking on my nose all day. I have like I have a septum ring, and I have like dry boogers stuck in there, and I just feel it crusting up. So I've been picking on my nose all day. Um, as far as the prime and not prime side difference, I don't see a difference. I don't see this side any less shinier than this side. Uh, my nose has just given out. I did not touch up. I did not blot. I actually was about to blot. My sister handed me an oil blotting sheet. I'm like, no, I'm testing out a new face foundation for my video and can't. But yeah, um, I don't think it looks bad. I feel like the, the old formula, which is this one here. I don't use this. It's actually empty. It's nothing in there. Um, but the old formula, I bought this during the summertime, way back, way, way back, I don't know, like six years ago. Um, and I remember it being my holy grail foundation for the summertime. But the new formula, I mean, it's wintertime and although we did a bunch of game night stuff and dancing, it didn't really last. And my skin has been less oily. So when I bought this, I was like extremely oily. I'm trying to think what, found, what primer did I use with this? back in the day I think it was like a Mac primer or something like that because back in the day I was all about Mac and then I think this was like my first foundation outside of Mac besides the Kat Von D one yeah the Kat Von D one using my my holy grail too I think I'm gonna purchase that one too and see what the difference is from the old formula to new to the new formula but anyways um yeah I still really like this I'm gonna keep it the NARS Natural Radiant I returned. The Too Faced one I kept only because I couldn't return. I've used it for so long and it's like half empty. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this. Um, it's looking flawless under my eyes, so no splotchiness. The only part that broke apart is right here. I got some lipstick there from Eating Ribs. Um, right here feels very... Okay, let me see. So right here, wherever my hand is touching right now, it's it's still very powdery. It feels good. The only oily part is my chin, which is normal, and it looks oily there. Especially my nose, I'm not even gonna touch it, and my forehead, so my T-zone, basically, is the only sticky spot. Yeah, everything else feels good. I am gonna go ahead and touch up to see if it's gonna cake up or anything like that. I can touch it up with me, with me, with my Wet n Wild powder. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And my foundation brush here. Okay, so it looks good on camera. Again, matte. Doesn't look caking on camera, but in person, it does. It took off a kind of a chunk of my foundation right here and on my nose and then the powder is sitting on my skin if that makes sense it looks like it's like a water splotch like you know how you get you get wet and then you just don't fix it so there's like are you cry and tears come down your face that's what it's looking at i don't know i will definitely keep this foundation i think it looks great i just wouldn't wear it for long term uh my wet and wild i know i keep saying my wet and wild is my holy grail but it's still my number one foundation all right you guys and that is it for this video i will see you next time if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment what you want to see in my channel um what you like what you don't like give me some pointers um yeah that's pretty much about it check out my vlog channel it's always listed down below you can check behind the scenes of some of my my, my videos um my instagram is always listed down below so yeah if you're not subscribed please subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye